are you from the Philippines? Oh yes. Tell us, did you hear about the the 150 miles uh, wind over there? The oh, yeah, the Alta Marea. Yeah. Did you hear about that? Yes. How do you feel? Do you have any relatives over there? Oh, we have still relatives. You have relatives over there? In the area where this happened? Uh, I'm not quite sure. But oh. we are, uh, because, uh, you know, we are uh, mostly on the city. Who comes from the area where this happened? There. She comes from there? Yeah. He got a house in Makati. Oh, there. Uh, oh, yeah. He turned Excuse me. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Listen. Listen. We we were no we watched the what he called the the news and we saw that the, in the uh, Philippines there was the what he called the the I I the bird and uh, wind on the sixty miles an hour is it that true? I don't know. Is that true? On the phone, you heard yeah. them on the phone. No, no. Oh, no phone. We can, yeah. No, no phones and nothing. Everything is broke. Bad. Yeah. So you don't have no contact with them. No, because right now the communication is really bad. We try to text, but they don't answer. Yeah. So as of now, we really don't know the uh, the real situation over there. So, but uh, we only know it through the news so what was going on in the country. And actually, yeah. if our relatives are affected or what, we don't really know. How long do you think that the, you can hear from your relatives from the day? That they are okay? How long do you think, you know, you know we'll, we'll take to, you know, hopefully, restore? Yeah, hopefully they're fine. Because otherwise, you know, somehow they're communicating with us. You know, like sometimes through email or some kind of thing that, you know, that we didn't know what's going on. So, so now... How long you are in America? How long you are in America? I've been here since I was uh, probably 30, 35 years. I've been here like 35, 38 years. 35 years? Yeah, 38. Have you been back to Philippines? Oh, yeah. yeah like every other, day, every other uh, year. Oh, uh, yeah? Year. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm going home next month. Okay, so just for a just to visit. What do the people in the, the Philippine people in America feel about today? How they feel about it? Well, so far, they're hoping that it will be much better because of Nino Aquino. And Nino Aquino, so far, is uh, their choice of, you know, for presidency. And, like, uh, Nino Aquino is, like, open to everything. You know, like, open for opinion, open for anything that uh, can help out the Philippines. The Philippine people, because that's how, you know, like, it's like in here. You know, it kind of is really hard. And same thing over the Philippines. Okay, we thank you for the information and see you next time. Do a good job over here at Holy Family. Okay, By the way, you. you are a good community. Okay. Very active, very, you know, very serious, very, you know, uh, very religious. Yes, yes, that's one thing. You are. You know, like most of the Filipinos, like 90% are Christian. How many religions are religions there in the Philippines? There's so many religions, like here, but then, you know, like uh, predominantly we are Christian uh, countries. When I said Christian, not only Catholic, because they're other denominations. How many people is there in the Philippines? I don't know. Really, I really don't know. I don't know you the don't census. Know. No. I don't know the census. No. Okay, thank you. Thank Ciao. you, too. Bye. Ciao. What's your name? Tessie. Tessie. Teresa. Teresa. Yeah. Okay, probably you would like to taste one of our uh, barbecues. Good Filipino barbecue. Probably you want to taste one of that?